I am holding this box right now because my new online chat buddy, Ernie, sent me an email informing me that the radio inside this box is not only very inexpensive, but the radio in this box is also unlockable, an attribute that is very valuable to those that understand the value of an unlocked radio, which due to legal reasons, I will not get into right now. My new BFF Alan also pointed out that the radio inside this box is basically Boof Wang's version of the Redivus RB27 radio, but the radio inside this box costs much less than the Redivus version. So in this video, I will very efficiently introduce you to the radio inside this box, the Boof Wang G11S unlockable handheld HT GMRS walkie-talkie, as only I, the queen of all that is GMRS and soon to be king of hams radios can do. And I will accomplish this never before heard of level efficiency by focusing only on the features of this radio that I care about. And by not frivolously and aggressively wasting your very valuable time begging you to click the subscribe button, mash the like button, or any of those other annoying things that all of the other lesser YouTubers insist upon doing every time you watch one of their videos. The price for the Boofwang G11S as of today is $45 of monies for a two pack of these radios. And if you do the calculations, the maths will demonstrate that this equates to a mere $23 of monies each, making this one of the cheapest unlockable radios you can buy. Affiliate link below. And just for clarification, the Boofwang Corporation of Japan did not send this two pack of radios to me for free. I paid full price for this two pack of radios using the monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the very brave viewers that are proud to stand up for what they believe in and have chosen to support me and my channel by clicking the thanks or join buttons below. When you purchase the two pack of Boofwang GS11S unlockable handheld HT GMRS walkie talkie radios, in the box you will receive a user manual written in surprisingly good English, not the Chinapanese that a lot of the user manuals for these low cost radios are written in. The manual does a good job of explaining all of the features of the radio quite well, which actually makes me very sad because let's be honest here, we all know that most people are going to throw the manual straight into the trash before they ever even look at it. You will receive this charging block. One end goes into the holes that you find along the walls of your home. The other end goes into this USB A's to two USB C's charging cable. This unique cable allows for charging one or two radios at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to not waste your very valuable time at this point, I would just like to take a moment to point out that because this is a two-pack, you will receive two of everything that I am about to share with you from this point on. However, in the interest of conserving your very valuable time, I will only show you one of each item. You will receive two belt clips. The belt clip clips into the battery itself, not directly onto the radio. You will receive two of these very stylish and very handsome yet functional wrist straps, referred to by many people as a lanyard. You will receive two very cheap and low quality ear pieces that will likely self-destruct the very first time that you use them. Plugs into the radio, the other end attaches to your ear hole, giving you a convenient push-to-talk trigger for talking as well as listening. You will receive two antennas, and these antennas have a male SMA connector, which is opposite of many, but not all, antennas in the GMRS HT handheld walkie-talkie industry. You will receive two batteries chargeable directly 
via this USB-C's hole. And the battery also has this charging indicator LED so that you are not forced to guess and hope that it is charged up something that many more expensive radios do not have. However, this battery is on the small side as it is only able to hold 1500 milliamp hours of electricity. And in this two pack, you will receive two Boofwang G11S handheld HD GMRS walkie talkie radios. On the radio, you will find a on-off volume control knob, a flashlight, an SMA female hole for attaching the previously mentioned antenna, transmit and receive LED indicator. On the side, you will find the actuator button for the previously mentioned flashlight, push to talk trigger, and a mode changing button. I'll discuss that more momentarily. On the front, you'll find only a few very simple controls. And behind this door, you will find a standard K1 type connector for connecting a microphone programming cable or the aforementioned junkie earpiece. And now for a few technical specifications of this radio. This is a GMRS radio with full FCC's Part 95 certification and approval. And according to our now non-DEI overlords at the FCC's, you must have a GMRS permission slip if you plan to transmit on this radio. And if you dare to transmit without first purchasing a GMRS permission slip from the U.S. government, nothing will happen. As with all GMRS radios out of the box, this radio comes with the standard 22 GMRS channels and eight standard repeater channels built in, and you can create an additional 24 custom repeater channels. However, if you require storing more than 24 custom repeaters, this $23 radio is not for you. The radio has a total of 128 custom channel slots to store regular frequencies as channels, for quick access. The radio comes with the NOAA channels also built in, but it does not do NOAA alerts. And if you press this button, the radio will also receive commercial FM radio stations. And they were just meant to be relaxing activities after work, but it turned into me painting about climate change solutions. So you can learn about the climate change solutions. This is not a super heterodyne type radio. This is an SOC or system on a chip type radio, often referred to as a homodyne. Homodyne type radio. You will never, never find a super heterodyne type radio at this price. Ever. This radio is very simple to use and it has a very simple menu system consisting of only 14 menu options. And the simple controls on the front of the radio combined with the aforementioned very simplified menu system make this radio very simple to use, meaning that it should result in much lower instances of confoculation. However, because the radio does not have a full keypad, as you can see, to add any custom new channels, you will need to connect the radio to your computer and use the free Chirp programming software. Although allow me to clarify that the radio does come with all of the 22 GMRS channels and the eight standard repeater channels pre-programmed, so you can just take it out of the box, turn it on, and start using it. No computer is required to use the radio, you only need a computer if you wish to get fancy. This radio almost qualifies as a Not a Rubicon approved adventure radio, and that is because it does have a screen that works very well in bright sunlight, as you can currently see with your very own eye holes. And because I thought, I thought that the radio had an IP67 waterproof rating. However, I later learned that this $23 handheld HT GMRS walkie talkie radio is not not IP67 rated, and the Bufway Corporation of Japan makes no claims that this radio is waterproof. I was mistaken. However, I did not realize that until after I did this. 
But I am happy to report that in despite of this not being a waterproof radio, and even though it pretty much completely filled up on the inside with water, after a thorough drying out, the radio still works just fine. Irregardless, I very strongly recommend that you do not play with this $23 radio in the bathtub. Earlier I mentioned the accusations made by my new best friend Aaron that this radio is unlockable, turning it into a potentially very valuable tool in a shit-hitting-the-fan type situation. However, because this radio does not have a full keypad, you cannot directly enter any of those highly illegal frequencies directly on the radio itself, making it difficult to manually enter any of those illegal out-of-band frequencies. So in order to transition this radio over to the dark side, you must resort to using the free Chirp software. And to use this Boofwang G11S with the Chirp software, you must lie to the Chirp software and pretend that this is a Redivus RB27 radio. You can then simply enter any illegal black market dark web frequencies that you wish to use and save those changes back to the radio. And although I would never do this myself because of how illegal it is, when I did this myself, I was able to enter frequencies as low as 135 my gigahertz and as high as 514.900 my gigahertz. However, the 200 to 300 my gigahertz range is locked out. I can't tell if these are limits in the radio itself or restrictions imposed by the Chirp software. And of course, due to the serious illegal issues of doing so, I would never transmit on any of those out-of-band frequencies. But when I transmitted on those illegal out-of-band frequencies, they all worked just fine. However, the power output did get lower the further away that I got from the 400 my gigahertz range down to about only one watt, which is to be expected. And sadly, probably the biggest drawback of this $23 radio, the radio does not have a Roger beep, which I know will be a deal breaker for many serious radio aficionados. The Bufwang Corporation of Japan claims that this radio outputs up to 5 watts, so let's test that. And as you can see at 462.575 my gigahertz, which is GMRS channel 16, the radio is pretty much squirting a full load of just under 5 watts. <laughs> But what really matters and what everyone wants to know is how many fars does it talk? And using this very radio, I was able to talk with my friend Conrad, the chef, direct radio to radio, no repeater, at his house 13 miles away while he was using his base station with a large antenna on his roof. And we were able to chit chat loud and clear. What I'm saying to you right now is that for only $23 of monies, when you buy the two pack, the Bufwang G11S is a simple-to-use, unlockable, disposable radio that only costs $23 of monies. <laughs>